Hello, welcome to Thrive Groups. We're so glad to have you here with us this week. Before we jump in, we're gonna go over a couple of our guidelines. The first is that we wanna encourage everyone to participate with our discussion. We have some discussion questions, so we wanna encourage you to tell your stories, share your observations, your ideas, your thoughts, um, but but no one dominates. So like, let's make sure everyone gets a chance. Yeah, you may got a ton of stories, but make sure you give somebody else a shot um, at telling theirs as well. Also, we start on time, we end on time. So uh, once the group is over, let's stay respectful of the location we're in and make sure uh, we end on time. That being said, we're going to jump right in with our icebreaker question. What game show do you think you could win? What game show do you think you could win? Um, there's a couple that come to mind. Um, and, uh, and and one is, I don't know, I've always liked who who, uh, who wants to be a millionaire. I thought that would be a great one. I, I'm full of useless facts. I think that'd be kind of cool. But but the one that I wish I could win, this is a throwback. Some of you aren't even going to know what it is, but was Double Dare, right? Double Dare. It was a sloppy mess. It was, you know, all kinds of stuff with green goop everywhere. And uh, that, was a, that was just a great show when I was... Uh, growing up, I always wanted to compete on Double Dare. So, uh, but what about you? What's a game show that you think you could win? Okay, we're going to read two verses here uh, from Isaiah, and then we're going to talk about whatever stands out to us in these verses. So here we go. I, first one's Isaiah seven fourteen. It says, "All right, then the Lord Himself will give you a sign. Look, the virgin will conceive a child." She will give birth to a son and call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. In the second verse, Isaiah 41.10. Don't be dis afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. So, uh, anything stand out to you in either of those verses there? Okay, here's a question for you. Have you ever felt abandoned? Or maybe more accurately, uh, share a time when you felt abandoned uh, in your life. I'll tell you one. Uh, for me, kind of a silly one, I suppose, was uh, a while back I was following a friend. We were on a road trip, and we were out there, and I was following him, and he was like pedal to the metal just flying. And, and I didn't even know where we were going. So I didn't have the GPS or anything like that, um, the location in my phone. And I was trying to follow him and, and he got way ahead of me and I felt abandoned. I'm like, you know, I'm stuck in traffic here. I can't keep up with you. And, and I felt like I was left behind. Unfortunately, you know, I was able to catch up eventually and we were able to get to where we were going. But for those moments, I felt abandoned. I'm like, hey, dude, couldn't you just wait for me? Um, that's how I felt. How, how about you? Have you ever felt abandoned? Maybe it's something silly like that. Maybe it's something more uh, more deep, you know, uh, maybe more traumatic even. I don't know. But uh, let's take a few moments and share those uh, memories. Next question is this. Share about a time when you felt God with you. You know, I've talked a little bit about uh, some of my adventures on Mount Washington, one of which was when I decided I was going to climb uh, a big chunk of it in the middle of the night. It wasn't my brightest idea uh, I've ever had. It was not that smart. I do not recommend it, but I did it nonetheless. And in those moments, I felt God's presence. His presence was probably kind of rolling his eyes at me, shaking his head a little bit like, why are you out here in the middle of the night? But nonetheless, I was very, very aware of God's presence in those moments. So how about you? Share about a time when you felt God's presence, you were really aware of God's presence. Final question here is, how can you be more aware of God's presence in your life? What things could you do? Maybe environment, maybe, I don't know, maybe music, maybe it has to do with reading scripture, going for a hike, I don't know what it is for you, but share a few thoughts of how you could maybe be more aware of God's presence in your life. Okay, lastly, we are going to close in prayer. So we thank you so much for joining us today. I believe that there's power in praying together for each other. So we're just going to take a few moments and give everyone opportunity to say a few words of prayer. It doesn't have to be fancy. Just, you know, maybe give a, a request or ask God for guidance. Or maybe you're praying for someone you care about, uh, whatever it is. And then you can say amen. It'll go around the room. The leader will close it up. So again, thanks for joining us today. And let's close in prayer.